Grade 7 Science Learners, how are you today? I am glad to be with you again for another quarter of discovery and amazing moments as we take up new insights and ideas. I am your teacher presenter, Teacher Leonor May Loquiliano Tan from Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District. We will uncover the many wonders of science. In this module, we will learn new concepts about heat transfer. We will also learn the conditions necessary for heat transfer to occur. After going through this lesson, you're expected to describe heat, identify the different methods of heat transfer, infer the conditions necessary for heat transfer to happen. Before we take up new concepts, we will try to answer questions about heat transfer to see how familiar you are with the new topic. Please take down notes as we answer every question. Ready? Number one, a lifeguard feels hot on a bright sunny day at the beach. Which of the following methods of heat transfer is being described? A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Insulation The correct answer is letter C. Radiation Number 2. Which of the following refers to the heat transfer in liquid and gases? A. Conduction B. Convection C. Radiation D. Insulation The correct answer is B. Convection Number 3. Which of the following situations does not describe the transfer of heat through conduction? A. Chocolate melts on the hand. B. Snow melts under the sun. C. A pot heated on the stove. D. Cup feels warm when touched. The correct answer is letter B. Snow melts under the sun. You're doing a good job. Let's examine the two pictures. Try to answer the following questions. What will happen if you leave a cup of hot coffee on the table? Will the drink heat up or cool off? How about leaving a glass of cold orange juice on the desk? Will the drink heat up or cool off? Let's find out. What does it mean when there is transfer of heat? When a cup of hot coffee is left at the table, heat is released and will be absorbed by the environment. In the same way, when a glass of cold orange juice is placed on the desk, heat is absorbed from the environment. It is important to meet this condition for heat transfer to occur. Heat flows from an object with higher temperature or hot to an object with lower temperature or cold. It can happen between states of matter. As long as there is difference in temperature, there is heat transfer. The fast-moving molecules will collide with the slow-moving molecules, which means that the fast-moving molecules give off the energy to the slower ones. There is release and absorption of heat until both objects will achieve same temperature.
The movement of thermal energy from one object to another is what we call heat transfer. Heat transfer by conduction is energy transferred by direct contact. There are three ways that heat can be transferred. Conduction, convection, and radiation. Conduction is the transfer of heat energy from objects that are in contact. Heat transfer through conduction happens when an object or substance is heated, which means there will be increase in temperature. The particles will gain more energy than passes the object with a lower temperature. Your hands will feel warm or hot when you touch the pan because heat is being transferred from the pan to your hands. On the other hand, you will feel cold when you touch an ice cube. Remember, heat will now transfer from your hands to the ice cube. The increase in temperature means there is increase in energy. Meanwhile, energy has been lost when an object has lower temperature. Conductors are objects that conduct or allow heat to flow. Materials such as metals and stone can transfer heat. Kitchen utensils such as kettles, pans, Spoon are examples that you can find in your home. However, not all objects can conduct heat very well. Insulators are those materials that are poor conductors of heat. Examples are paper, wood, cloth, rubber, and plastics. Convection is the transfer of heat energy in gases and liquids. It happens due to the movement of the molecules of a liquid or gas. When these molecules are heated, they move upward from hotter area to cooler area. To understand this better, let's examine the heat transfer through boiling water in a kettle on a stove. The metal kettle becomes hot and heats up the water molecules inside, causing them to move very fast. The hot water begins to rise from the bottom to the top of the kettle. The colder water on top will be replaced by the rising hot water where it will be heated and will rise as well. Radiation is the transfer of energy that does not need particles or medium to conduct heat. Therefore, no physical contact is required as compared to conduction and convection. Heat transfer through radiation can happen in a vacuum where there is no air such as in the outer space. In this method, heat transferred in all directions from source through electromagnetic waves. An example is the heat we receive from the sun traveling from the outer space to the earth. As the materials around absorbs the energy, it causes the particles to move faster, then increases its temperature. Since heat can be transferred by radiation, the cooler object will absorb more thermal energy than the hotter object. Now that you're already familiar with the different types of heat transfer and its concepts, kindly check your module and prepare your notes and pens for the activity. Direction Determine the type of heat transfer, whether conduction, convection, radiation, and insulation. Describe in the following situations. Number one, 
a melting ice cream on a hot sunny day. Number two, a type of heat transfer condition is happening in the hot air balloon. Number three, a lifeguard feels hot on a bright sunny day at the beach. Which of the following methods of heat transfer is being described? Here are the answers of the following questions. Number one, a melting ice cream on a hot sunny day. Correct, radiation. Number two, a type of heat transfer condition is happening in the hot air balloon. Awesome! Convection! Number three. A lifeguard feels hot on a bright sunny day at the beach. Which of the following methods of heat transfer is being described? Correct! Radiation. Congratulations for doing a great job in performing your task. Take note of the following to help you summarize the concepts you have learned. Heat is a form of energy that is transferred from one object to another with different temperatures. Heat transfer will happen if heat flows hot to cold or from higher temperature to lower temperature. The fast moving molecules will collide with the slow moving molecules giving up some of their energy. This transfer of energy will continue to happen until both objects have the same temperature. That ends our discussion for today. Once again, this is Teacher Lenore May Loquiliano Tan of Nabunturan National Comprehensive High School, Nabunturan West District, saying, Dito sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!